Jill, we're here at the FA Women's Awards. Um, it's a chance to celebrate all that's good about women's football over the last 12 months. How do you assess 2013? I think it was disappointing, the European Championships, especially for the England girls. We really wanted to go out there and, and do better than we did. But I think with every loss, you learn. And hopefully the past four games, we've uh, obviously won them and kept four clean sheets, scored 20 goals. So it shows that we are learning. Uh, I think as a whole, the FAWSL has done really well. You've seen a new champion in, in Liverpool, which have done really well with investment from the club. And hopefully more clubs can go on and, and get that kind of investment and just keep the women's game growing. And have you noticed a difference in terms of the level of competitiveness of the league? Yeah, it's really competitive. I think in the past you used to go into games and you used to think, oh, we'll definitely get three points here and there. But I think now every game is up in the air. And for, for spectators who are watching the game, obviously they'll think that that's, that's fantastic. So I think it's definitely heading in the right direction. And if we can keep pushing on, then the future looks good for women's football. It's 20 years since the FA took over the running of the women's game. Um, where have you seen the game go uh, just in your time uh, over the last, what, 10 or so years? I think I've been quite lucky to be involved in the past seven years, uh, but even in that short space of time, you've seen an increase of uh, media intention, attention, uh, increase of crowds, and I think just as a whole, really, it's, it's really pushing in the right direction. I think since I've came in, uh, the central contracts now, so it means our players can train as well as work, and they're not just working full time and then not getting the benefits of the training. So, as I said, yeah, if we can if we can keep kind of moving in the right direction, then these awards evenings are great to celebrate. But hopefully next year we'll we'll be celebrating even more and next year of course um, you've recently signed for Manchester City so it's sort of an exciting 12 months for you ahead I guess yeah I'm really looking forward to it it was a really difficult decision to leave Everton after seven years uh, especially being captain last year and I, I've really enjoyed my time there felt like I learned a lot and managed to earn 70 England caps in that time uh, win an FA Cup with with Everton as well but I just feel like I'm 26 now and I kind of feel like I need a new challenge and need to be pushing on and I hope that Manchester City can offer that and I'm really looking forward to getting into pre-season.